On the day after the explosions that ended the Boston Marathon early, I spoke with Steve Silva, a Boston.com producer who caught on camera the scene of the explosions. I knew that it changed from, you know, from a sporting event to an international tragedy. I knew it was going to be a major story. I knew there was going to be death. I knew it was there. So I wanted to just capture the moment without getting uh, too close to the gruesomeness. I didn't think that was right. For to, I didn't want to show pictures of people with feet blown off or pictures of uh, someone's mother or someone's daughter or someone's son. I didn't think that needed to be part of anyone's family legacies. Steve says he was about 20 yards away from the finish line when the first bomb went off. His first instinct was to keep on recording. Uh, but the smoke just started to spread and the fire, and it, it, somebody, I just started walking towards it like uh, other people to see what, what was this. And it didn't take but 12 seconds later where the second explosion went off up on Fairfield in Boylston. So a combination of the two, as I approached the side of the street and looked across the, the guardrail, and just saw things I'd never seen before. You just see really blood just pouring, spilling all over the sidewalk, and uh, people just uh, injured tragically and, and cuts. And, uh, and then you know, saw a gentleman carted away later who lost the lower part of his leg in the blast. So we knew how serious it was pretty much immediately. Boylston Street is still closed off as police and investigators look into the cause of the explosions. According to police officials, it may be a few days until the street is reopened kind of a somber day in town. I think there's kind of a general feeling of that and it just feels, you feel that, that community and then you feel the Americanism, you know, the Americana coming out with the, the American flags uh, starting to pop out on windows and cars. And so Boston will come together as we did before and, and we'll be resilient. We'll rally around those families uh, of those that, that were critically injured and, and, and people that are, you know, going to suffer for a long time to come. A bar on Mass Ave offered this supportive message for the community. Reporting in Boston, I'm Melissa Don.